If I had a choice of where I wanna be, you could see me running to the battleground. Front line, first infantry. I wanna be the first one there to get down. I would die on a daily. I'm coming up to sacrifice me right now. Put me in the army of the most high. Put me in the army of the most high. Milk dripping from my cheek, but I put down the rattle for thou was girding me with strength. We all according to the Bible that Jesus Christ is a black man, one. Bring and it out. you are from the same tribe as Christ. Right. right? So you know what we're talking about, we walking over here. Give me Amos 3 and 3. But everything that you said was correct. You know what I'm saying about us gathering ourselves together. All that's in the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm finna show you something. It was on the one problem I had with that. Why this? Read that. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Read that again. Can two walk together except they be agreed? See what I'm saying? In order, in order for change to come, we have to be speaking the same thing. Right. God statute laws and commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why we're in the condition that we're in. Because a lot of things that we're doing is going contrary to what God told us That's to right. do. You see what I'm saying? Give me a uh, uh, song one one uh, 47, 19. I'm gonna show you something, right? Everything, uh, when it come down to this book right here, God only gave this book to one nation of people. Bring right? it out. And it's these people right here. Right. On this sign right here. The natives, the blacks, and the Hispanics. Watch this. Right. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Bring it out. He showed his word unto Jacob. So Jacob is the father of these 12 tribes right here. Right. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So he showed his statues, his laws, commandments, and statues unto Israel, yes, which is all these 12 tribes right here, right? And his judgment, meaning what? The same way he showed us the laws, statutes, commandments. Hey, look, if you don't keep these statutes, laws, and commandments I'm giving you, this right here is going to happen. He showed us the judgment, the flip side of them commandments too, right? right. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. What? He had not dealt so with any nation. God don't deal with everybody, bro. Right, if they right. ain't on this side right here, if they right. not Israel, a part of one of these 12 tribes, God ain't dealing with them. That's, right. Right. That's, why, I, that's why I understand, like, God is a jealous God, you're not a confusing God. Absolutely. And, and you gotta be on one accord, and the moment you take him out of it, he just, he removed himself. Absolutely, so look, read that again. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. They can do whatever they want to do. Good. When it come down to us, though, God said, listen, you're going to keep, give me, uh, you know what sin is? You know what sin is? <laughs> no, I'm saying, what is the definition of sin? Do you know what it is? Read that. I know you know. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. So, D, who was the law given to? Who was the law given to? The Israel, us. So, now look, when we break God's statute, laws, and commandment, what's going to happen to us? Read that again. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now give me Romans 6 and 23. This is what happened to us, bro, and we break God's statute laws and commandments. Right. See, the thing is, you're trying, to, you're trying to figure out why we die at a high rate on in these streets. It's because we not keeping God's statute laws and commandments, right. bro. That's the whole of all the story. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. Is what? what? Is death. Bro, when we break God's statute laws and commandments, he's going to kill us, bro. Simple as that. God, bro, hey, God will offer us, bro, out here. See, that's the problem. The thing is this right here. We have no fear of the most high God. Right. We think, you know what I'm saying? When we think about anything dealing with this book right here, get what? This picture right here pop up in our minds, bro. This the picture that a lot of us have in our mind. When we close our eyes and pray, this the picture that pop up in our mind, bro. You see what I'm saying? But this right here, they gave it to us. They, they have done crafty counsel on us, bro. Give me that. Uh, Psalms 1, what, what, uh, Psalm 83? Give me that. The thing is right here, everything that they have designed, so look, for instance, right, I'm finna show you the craft the council, right? Read that. Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. Wow. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, 
Thine enemies make a tumult. They what? Thine enemies make a tumult. God got enemies, bro. Right. So the enemies of God is the same enemies of the church. Right. Breathe. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. His enemies what? Have lifted up the head. What they do though? They hate they what? And they that hate thee uh -huh. have lifted up the head. Uh -huh. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So look, the crafty counsel is this right here, right? God tell her, look, on the Sabbath day, what is the Sabbath day? When the Sabbath start? Right, no. Hey, you got your phone on you, right? The calendar, what day the first day is of the week? Sunday. You know what I'm saying? God tell us, look, you got six days to work. Sunday through Friday. When the sun go down Friday to the sun go down Saturday, that's the Sabbath day. But right. guess what they do, though? The crafty council, what's going on, big bro? What's your name? Rico. Rico. I'm Tim, bro. So what we going on right now? Hey, D, look, it's on the back, bro. Come deal with us, bro. Rico, listen, you believe in you believe in the Bible? What's your nationality? You know your nationality? Huh? What what was your dad? What would your dad be? Black, African American. So look, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. You see yourself right here? You'll be from the tribe of Judah, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? That's a mighty tribe. Right. What color Jesus Christ is, bro? What 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 would you talk the color of Christ? What they tell you when you were growing up the color of Christ, bro? What color was it? Light skin? What? To the more to the light skin, more to the black side, or or light skin and more to the white side? To the black? So look. Okay. So look. This is the true depiction of Jesus Christ right here, right? Give me uh, Revelation 1, 14. I'm finna show you, look. Bro, you come from the same tribe that Christ come from. But right. you know that? That means you got royal blood flowing through your vein, Rico. Right. You royal. You see what I'm saying? Hold that and give me uh, 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 Hebrews 7 and 14. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it up. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The same tribe that you from, Rico. What is that saying to you, bro? You got royal blood flowing through your veins. Now give me Revelation 1 and 14. Give me Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What's going on? What's your name? Trail. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Trail, bro. Rico, look. What we going on right now, what color Jesus Christ is, bro? Huh? He Jewish? He a Jew. What call it? Bro, ain't no trick question. Ain't no trick question. What call is he though? He said he's a Jew. He a Jew. Hey, Christ is a Jew. You know what I'm saying? The real Jews are black. Give me that. Give me all Jeremiah 14 to 2. I'm going to show you something right now. Check this out. Check this out. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Bring it out. Judah morning. And the gates thereof language. They are black. They are what? They are are black. black. Bro, the real Jews are black, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? What, what, what's your nationality? What, what tribe you from? Indian. You're Indian? Oh, you you from the tribe of God then. Right. But we from the same tribe, bro. Right. We from the same tribe. Right. So look, check this out. Jew is, what is? this? Read that again. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. Judah morning. And the gates are of language. They are black onto the ground. And look, look, look. Now give me all Revelation 114. Hold on, Rico. I ain't forgot to look. I'm finna show you too what color Christ is, bro. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Huh? The revelation of Jesus Christ, Read. which God gave unto him to show his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Huh? And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. Read. Verse, 14. Verse 13, uh -huh. and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like what? Like wool, Read. as white as snow. So it said, Christ's head was white in texture and woolly and now 
woolly in texture and white in color. Read, we go. Yeah, that same type of hair on your on, on your head. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because Christ drunk wine in moderation. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Rico, what color brass is? Yeah. What color brass? What color brass? You got a penny in your pocket? Nah, we need the color brass. Exactly. This color right here. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, huh? as if they burned in a furnace. That's right. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color gonna come out? Black, right? That's right. What color is Jesus Christ? A black man. That's so look, right. check this That's out right, right here. Now you know that you know it's there in front of the tribe of Gad, bro. Guess what? It's the thing that God required you to do. Yo, you cut that like that? You know grow out? Your hair grow out? Check this out. God tell us, Noah said, look, God tell us. Hey, somebody give me the Zonovan Bible Dictionary real quick. Somebody give me the uh, definition of uh, a beard. Somebody got the Zonovan Bible Dictionary? Hey, what's going on, bro? What's your name? Rico. Rico. What it do, bro? I'm Tim. So look, what we going on right now, who we are according to the Bible, what God called a native to bless his What's your nationality, bro? Shit, man, I don't know. I don't believe none of this shit. Bro. Why not? Because I don't. Why? Because it's all fake to me. Okay, cool. Check this out. How did we get over here, bro? Shit, man, I was born over here. I don't okay, know. cool. I get that. Yeah. Your forefathers and foremothers, bro. I don't know How did they say? Though. All right, oh, look. Did this happen right here, bro? I can't tell you if it did or if it didn't. What they say? One thing about it. I'm going to tell you like this. What they say? Hollywood can make anything. This is what I'm saying. Hey, did this happen, bro? Did this happen did. to us? Our forefathers and foremothers? Look, our people. Hey, look, Trap. Trap. Our folk was already over here. The Native American Indians was already over here. Sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the Negroes, though. But they came right. over here on slave ships, bro. Right. Our forefathers, four of them came over here on slave ships, bro. Right. That happened right there. Give me, uh, hey, I'm gonna, we, we're going to get to that, about the, about the beard. Let me just show Big Bro this real quick. Give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy 20, uh, uh, 28, verse 6 day. I'm going to show you something, bro. This Bible right here ain't nobody else's book. Right, right. It's our book. Yeah. Right. You see what I'm saying? The natives, the blacks, and the Hispanic. God don't deal with everybody, bro. Right. That right. was a lot. Exactly. Right. I'm gonna say that. Right. I know that. So look, check this out. I'm trying to show right. you this right here. Bro, listen. He look like you. Right. Your God look like you. That's Give right. that. Give me Daniel you know. what? Uh, 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 79? Yeah. Give me Daniel 79. I'm going to show you God look up. like you, bro. I Be a black man. That. I don't believe that. I'm going to show you. Right, right, read. Right. Daniel right. chapter 7, verse 9. Read right. 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 till the thrones were cast down, and the ancients of days did sit, uh -huh. whose garment. So the ancient of days is God. No one's like, he's older than days. Read. Right. Whose garment was white as snow. God had on a garment. Read. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. Black folks, the only one, bro. He got the same, got, he got the same hair on his head. You got, bro. Right. Read. And his throne was like the fiery flame. Well, he's sitting on the throne. Right? And his wheels as burning fire. Uh -huh. Wait, Wait, what? Ten to five. Read. Daniel chapter ten, verse five. You know? Now I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were golden, girded with the fine gold of Uphaz. Uh -huh. His body was like the barrel, uh -huh. and his face. You know, barrel. Barrel is a, a, a greenish color, right? Read. And his face as the appearance of lightning, huh? and his eyes as lamps of fire, huh. and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. To polished brass, big bro. Let me tell you something. You see what I'm saying? No, Listen, I don't, I don't. God got the same skin tone as you. Hey, big bro. Look, check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, listen, 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 listen. What you got to say? What's up? What's up? Give me all Deuteronomy 28, 16. As humans as we are right now, bro, I get that. But guess what? We talking about right now, though, bro. We talking about right now. Give me that. We, I'm, finna, I'm finna show you that our people came over here. So now we talking about. Bro, let's read that. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the first time the Israelite was in Egypt, bro, we were serving hard bondage and in the physical Egypt. Read. Which ships? With what? With ships. Bro, this is how we came over here on slave ships, bro. But you just said you didn't believe in nothing. I say I don't know. 
Okay, well, look, I just showed you. So, look, check this out. Well, I'm trying to show you. Smell this. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, listen, listen. Look, calm down. Bro, calm down. Listen. Well, I'm trying to show you is bro, we actually got the whole thing. Look, check this out. 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 You see what I'm saying? But you got to humble yourself, bro. You see what I'm saying? Put my phone. You got to humble yourself, bro. Let me show you something. You see what I'm saying? Let me show you something. There's a reason I pulled up in this place. Give me that. Let me show you that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Bro, all that ain't talking about nothing, though, bro. Look, what I'm trying to show you this right here, Rico, is this the thing that you look. You need to be off in these scriptures, big bro. Bring it out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, look. Yeah, bro, go. Oh, look, check this out right here, bro. Look, look, look. Rico. Rico. All that that you researching is in these scriptures, bro. I'm trying to show you, bro. Listen, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, 47. Finish show him something. Everything, look. Rico, everything that we know what I'm saying, rely on, depend on, bro, guess what? We got to deal with all the other nations. A part of these things, look, the reason why we're in the condition that we in, bro, the reason why you scrolling through your phone, looking at, you know what I'm saying, YouTube, trying to figure out what the hell is going on, who am I, where did we come from, all this right here, bro, because we broke God's statue, laws, and commandments, bro. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Check this out, Rico, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, God, look, Moses telling the Israelites, hey, look, if you don't listen to what I'm telling you to do, read. To serve, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, Moses said, listen. If you don't Rico, if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, bro, these curses is gonna come upon you and overtake you, bro. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Bro, I say curse shall thou be in the city. Bro, look around you right now. Bro, this curse, bro, we curse as a people. Bro, look, look at this, look at this shit, bro. Trash everywhere. But that ain't how we supposed to be living, bro. You know what I'm saying? Give me hold that, give me do the run of seven and six, bro. For the show you something. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We go. We holy unto the Lord oh, our God. We the Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people. We go. God had chosen you to be a special oh, people right. unto himself, bro. Oh, okay. Read. Hold on. It's a unto himself. Up. Above all people. Beneath. Above all people. On the side. Above all people. We go. God put us above all people that's upon the face of the earth. Right. Yes, God right. Above everybody right now, bro. Why? Because we broke God's laws, bro. Right. We keep doing the same thing. Bro, what you got? Okay. Yeah, you say I cannot remember the last time my God failed me. Okay. That's what? No, Paul. Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul okay, Paul. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wherever God is, whatever this earth is, whatever these animals, whatever we are, I don't know men about that. All I know, Paul, all I know is something happened to each and every one of us. Yeah, every what? day, all day. All right, Paul, so look. Paul, look, 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 look. Check this out. Check this out. Let me finish. I know what you're talking about. Look, 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 look. Check this out. Check this out, Rico. Look. Your God, bro, if you're not keeping God's statue laws for man, bro, guess what? You guess what? let me finish. Okay, go ahead. What you finish that? All my life, I always had the best of shit. My God gave me everything. Guess who your God way. is, though? I don't care about that. Because I would never know. I'm going to show you who your God is. If you're not keeping listen, God's statue laws for man, you keep telling me what I'm not doing. No, I'm showing you the facts, and we're going to get him out these scriptures. And I'm trying to tell you. No, listen. Check this out right here, bro. Well, check this out, bro. If you're not keeping God's statue laws commandment, bro, this is your God, bro. Right. Right. You I'm understand that? that guess what? That's the problem. You don't believe in it, but guess what? This is who you serving, bro. Right. No, it yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Look. No, it ain't. Give me, uh, give me. No, what you you believe in the holidays? Whatever. Tell what? the this out. Man. You celebrate the holidays? Jesus didn't even look like that. Tell this out. Do you celebrate holidays? What do you believe in or not? I don't. Okay, cool. I'm going to take you for your word, bro. What do you believe? Your birthdays? Hell no. Nah. 
what do you celebrate? Do you solo. Exactly. So what I'm trying to show you, Enrico, hold it down and listen, bro, so I, I can go and ask you. So look, check this. It's certain things, bro, that you need to do. We supposed to be doing, look. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12 real quick. Bro, I don't know. Yeah, show you something. I do everything right down here, bro. You don't. I take, you don't. Send me. Guess send what? Me I'm going to show send you. Send me. What Read you knew me? Deuteronomy chapter yeah, 10, me. verse 12. Bring it up. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? This is what God requires of you, bro. You see what I'm saying? And I probably Read. Give you. But to fear the Lord thy God. You feel good? How you feel good? Because that's my nigga. So Whatever look, God so check this out right here. Nigga. You know, know what I'm saying? Get them tattoos with the thing done. Hey, guess what? Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. I learned. Okay. And I, I, I got you, bro. Okay. I got you, bro. And I ain't got a tattoo in over 25 years. Okay, cool. So look, I'm showing you. Y'all clap it up, bro. All, 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 all right, cool. Me too. Yeah, Me too. Shit. But look, I'm going to show you, though. Read. Leviticus chapter. Just to show you that, you know what I'm saying? All this right here, what I'm showing you, I'm going back to this 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 man right here, bro. This the crafty council right here, bro. Bring you it out. We get us getting tattoos. Us, know what I'm saying, shaving our hair on our head. Right. Us shaving, know what I'm saying, beard. All this other white man right there, that's going against God, bro. Right. Our God. Bring. Bring it out. It's not even a hey, picture. Hey, show, show. hey, what's your name again, bro? Rico. Rico, my name is Jabez. Nice to meet you, Jabez. Uh, Rico. So, brother, my brother's trying to help you out as far as what you might, you say you're doing everything right. Yeah, now we're gonna show you some things that you may not be doing right, all right? You, like you just said, we applaud you. The angels rejoice oh, hey, and when you that. stop doing tattoos. That's very good. Oh, no, so now right. read read Hebrews chapter uh, 10, verse 25. We're gonna help you out a little bit more because we brothers, we trying to build. You see the unity amongst us, right? We all speaking the same thing, right? This is my type of language. All praise. Now let's see if you're gonna speak more of our language. All right, let's see. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, not forsaking the assembling of our... Verse uh, 24, real quick. Verse 24, and let us consider one another... See that? Us brothers right now, we come in here because we consider not just ourselves, but our brothers outside of this, right you understand? Right. We consider one another, go ahead. To provoke unto love and you to... See that? Provoke what? Unto love. Unto love. Because out in this city, we don't have love out here. Bring it out. Bunch of, we call each other niggas. We shoot... Didn't it happen recently that we just, a brother got shot, a security, a brother that's securing the people out here, got killed in this Kroger market out here? Right. That happened right here. That ain't love. So that's when we come out here so we can spread that love. Right. We gotta love our neighbors and we love ourselves. You see that, Rico? That's why we consider one another out here. Go ahead. To provoke unto love and to good works. Good works. Keep the commandments. That's right. Keep the commandments. Right. Stop murdering your brothers out here. Right. You understand that? Go ahead. Can I say not that? forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Right. The Bible says not to forsake our assembling. You know what that means, Rico? Nah, break it down for me. What does assembling mean? What does assembling mean? I know what assembling means. A congregation. A congregation. Big bro. What's your name? Hey, sir. What's your name? How you doing? What's that, Damon? Damon, my name is Jabez, that's Rico. And your name again? Malak. Malak. So we teaching the Bible to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans how to keep God's laws, how to provoke love towards one another. Right. Because you see in society today, look, this is what, this is what, this is what the re repercussions of why we hate one another. You see that? But when I we got conquered, that's good, that's good, bro. That's good, Rico. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to show you how to show more love towards one another. You see this? Look, Damon. You remember this happening in slave in, in history? This happened, right? Our people got enslaved, and now we don't see each other as brothers. We see each other as niggas. We see them. At, we see white people as Christ, right. Right according to the Bible. Right the officers bringing out that Christ actually looks black according to the Bible. Right. Did you know that? Very good. Now we're gonna show you how to provoke love towards one another, Rico and Damon and Malak. Go ahead. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. See that, Rico? Assembling, we gotta assemble together. We gotta come in the same. Give me that uh, Amos three and three real quick. We gotta assemble one together. You understand that, Rico? Are you assembling with your brothers? Right now, but do you keep the Sabbath though? I don't have friends. You can get friends by keeping the commands with us, your brothers. We are gonna show you that, Rico. We are gonna help you out, Rico. All right. Go ahead. Amos chapter three verse three. Can two walk together, except they be agreed? See that, Rico? Can two walk together, lest they be agreed? Can friends walk together, lest they be agreed? You see that? We got to come to agreement 
that we got to keep the commandments. Right. That's right. We got to stop hate crime against one another. Right. You understand? Right. I'm not saying you hate you hate your brothers, but I'm saying you got to assemble yourselves together with us. You understand that? That's right. Keep the commandments. Right. Keep the Sabbath day. You ain't got to be alone. Give me Ecclesiastes 4 and verse, uh, verse 9 real quick. I'm going to help you out, bro. We brothers. You're not alone. You, there's a lot of brothers that have been through what you've been through. I ain't never alone. Right? Let's get that. Please, you the four verse nine. But you gotta, you gotta be with like-minded brothers. Right. You can't just say you with the. No, you gotta be with brothers. That's what the Lord said. He sent us over here so we can come together. Right. You understand that? Provoke one another. Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine. Two are better than one. You see that? The Bible said two are better than one. We know me and it. Two. Look. at Remember we had a great skin? Look at us brothers. Right. It's more than one brothers out here. Right. So if it's just That's if it's right. just two are better than one, how much is four better than one? How much is five better than one? Right. How much is thousands of brothers that know the Israelites keeping the commandments? We right. go, right. you understand that? Damien, Malak, how much better is that? How much better is that? I'm asking that. Right. That's great. How much That's great. And God honors that. He don't yeah. want he don't want you to be with your brothers, man. Right. Let me ask you something before you do that again. Did you believe in creator or God? Who's the creator? Who is God? No, but I'm asking you a question. Who's the creator? Whoever made God. God created who? The, 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 the spiritual world. God created everything, right? No, 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 no. The creator created everything. The creator and God is not two different things. It's trillions. We'll show, we'll show you who the creator is. It's after we finish, after we finish this, That's after we finish this, but no, hold on, hold on, hold on, Rico. I want to ask you because we did. I, I got you, but let me finish this for two are better than one uh -huh. because they have a good reward for their labor. Right. They have a good reward for their labor because look, it's gonna explain that. Yeah. Or if they fall, or if one falls, right? So if you fall into sin, if you want to go out, smoke weed or sleep with another woman outside of marriage, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's happening without congregating them because we ain't doing that. Not in my life. We ain't doing that. Bro. Go ahead. The one will lift up his fellow. Now you have a brother that's going to lift you up when you fall. Yeah. You see that? That's why God said two are better than one. That's you got to have brothers around you. You can't just say you with God. Come right. On. But woe to him that is alone. You see that? The Bible said woe. You know what woe means? Damon, what is woe? Watch out. What is woe, Malak? Woe means death unto you, bro. Death unto that brother. Go ahead. That is alone. That is what? Alone. That is alone. alone. So we're trying to save you, bro. Yes, you gotta be right. around your brothers like the Bible says. Right. You see that? Not forsaking the assembling. Like we read in Hebrews chapter 10, you verse 24 like and 5. Go ahead. Is that it? When he fallen, for he had not another to help him up. See that? You won't have nobody else to help you up. You, you know how I know that? that? You know how I know that? Right about that? You know how I know that, right? How? Because I told you. Because you ain't keeping the Sabbath day with your brothers. That's right. No. I know for a fact that you found, but we're trying to help you get lifted up by the word of God. That's right. You see that? You see that? Is that it on that? Yes, sir. All right, look, give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 real quick. We're going to show you who the creator is. But what I'm trying to tell you is when humans were made, we were this human being. We've been genetically modified to be this human being over thousands and hundreds, maybe millions. First Corinthians chapter 11, we verse 3. But life. I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. See that? The head of every man is Christ. That means Christ is what? In you. What is Christ? Christ, that means that Christ is what? The head of every man. The head of every man. He's over man. You see that? Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. You see that? We're over the women. Go ahead. And the head of Christ. Whoa, whoa. the head of who? Of Christ. The head of who? Of Christ. The creator of all? Is God. Is God. Right. God is over Christ. You understand that? So that's the creator. Now Christ is also the creator of us. You understand that? Go ahead. Is that it on that? That's it. All right, let's go. To, uh, so you understand that you got to congregate. Come read the rest of that in Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 25. Y'all understand that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, us being the Israelites, we must congregate as a people. We must keep the commandments. That's the only way we're going to solve the solutions in our community is by knowing that. Where, what tribe you come from? You know who you are. Y'all know it's not coincidence that we have two, but you, you know who you are. Well, you don't know yet. 
But he, you know he's from the tribe of Judah. He knows he's an Israelite. We got to keep you This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support 